Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here in Australia on the beautiful Sunshine Coast. I'm in my art room today, um, thankfully feeling so much better after a long stretch of COVID. Um, so I'm on the way to recovery and so I'm really enjoying being back in the art room again. And this is, as I showed you, a round canvas and I'm really on to the autumn themes. Here in Australia at the moment, we're oh, towards the end of our summer, but it's still very warm. Um, but I had this, you know, urge to mix up loads of autumn colours and see where they go, you know, where it takes me in that um, I just want to experiment with, with different techniques with the autumn colours. So come with me on this journey of discovery and uh, let's hope we get a real pretty one. This little bit of paint was something that I got out of um, a little squeezy bottle that I've probably had mixed for two years and it was a really sort of weird metallic plum. Um, I'm guessing because I had it mixed in a tiny bottle with Floetrol it said that it was obviously for a cell activator. So I think you know that I'm going to do my background with just the um sparkly uh, metallic sort of plumish paint that i have there and hopefully we get some cells out of this so mixed for two years is pretty you know it could be a disaster but there's not much paint on there if i have to scrape it off so let's just see oh wow did you see those cells pop up i'll bring you down closer. So definitely happy with that background. I could work with that. It sort of gives me something, um, point of difference for my background instead of it being just plain, which is good either way, but I wanted to see if that really old paint still worked. So I'm quite surprised that it did, but I can reuse the bottle now, mix something else. So yeah, very happy with this. I'll bring you down, have a little look. Wow. So that was just a little bit of, I'm not even sure what the colour was. It was a colour I mixed with just Floetrol maybe over a year ago and it was in a container and I thought, I'll just try it. Well, there you go. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Just beautiful. Okay, on with the plan. Now for the colour in this, like I said, I'm keeping kind of autumn themed and um, doing a bit of wiggles in there, get the wiggles in, um, always seems to be my thing and, and turn out really nice. Always every time I mention the name Wiggles, reminds me of Wiggles the artist who we don't seem to see very often anymore. So yes, I am keep on wiggling, got those colours on there now and um, 
trying to keep it minimalistic, but it's kind of still in the autumny tones, really. But uh, I'll just push on and add a little bit of colour to it. That's the um, gold, the metallic gold, and I, I think I'm going to put some uh, orange in it to give it a little bit of a pop. So let's see how this goes. That is actually uh, the Amsterdam metallic gold with Floetrol. So I'm seeing if it gives the amazing cells that you get in the bloom effect, like the Shelley bloom effect, uh, put in the Amsterdam gold and Australian Floetrol. See how this goes for cells. And as you can see, straight away they pop up. But I will bring you a little bit closer to see those. So yes, I'm going to put a little bit of that gold along the edges and then blow it out with my bendy straw to add some nice, softer, frilly edges.
Oh my goodness, I did get a bit carried away doing all the different techniques in there, but I absolutely love it. It, it is really still mm, kind of minimalistic. No, no, no. <laughs> but uh, I'm really loving that, and I really enjoyed doing this one, actually. So I hope you love it too. It dried beautifully, and um, yeah, it was very effective. So I certainly will be doing that again and loving that actual gold cell activator. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Okie doke, I will be back tomorrow, so take care and bye for now.